So what does it mean to be a woman of influence? Well, my first reaction is, well, that doesn't describe me. I'm not famous. I'm, I'm not in a big leadership position where I make decisions that affect hundreds or even thousands of people. But when I think about it for myself and what it means and who's influential in my life, it's the people I know personally. It's the people that maybe have a story that inspires me or people that I trust and I respect and I call them when I maybe need to bounce an idea off of somebody or I need some advice. And those are the people that are willing to tell me what I need to hear, not necessarily what's easy to hear. And that's really important. Um, they are also sometimes the people that know I'm going through something that's a little bit scary. I'm facing something big and they are there to say, I know you and you've got this. And in fact, how can I help and help make this even easier and make it a bigger success for you? So in that respect, to be considered a woman of influence is really an honor. And when I think about the traits um, that really make up a connected woman of influence, I would say it is those traits. It's being trustworthy. It is being that resource for someone else. It's being the support network. It's sharing what you know and what your experiences are. Sometimes it's even not being that resource yourself, but saying, you know, that's not me, but I know the right person, so let me connect you with her. Because making the right connection for someone else is just as important as being the right connection.